Let's go over. If you guys didn't watch Raw, of course, I wouldn't be making this video uh, live streaming over three hours. Check it out. Over th 50 people total watched it. I would have said live if I was a bigger channel. But <clears throat> you can subscribe to make that happen. Right now, we are going over Judgment Day, Edge's faction that he assembled involving Damian Priest and Rhea ripped me a new one. Uh... Immediately after winning, like what, two straight pay-per-views since he's turned heel around WrestleMania season, you broke him up after a pay-per-view win? It would be weird, at least, if Finn Balor got, if AJ Styles pinned and stole the win from Balor, uh, and he pinned Edge. No! Edge picked up the win over Rhea Ripley distracting and Damian Priest not getting over yet. Yeah, Damian Priest turns over Ed, Edge making causing saying that he was the problem. It made no sense. Edge is the only way that the presence works because everybody and their mom knows the coalition with this this is a brood inspired faction with other stuff from like the Monday Night Messiah BS put together. Edge is the only coherent talker that's imposing, has legitimacy, and actually has the TV time for people to actually focus because, oh, Edge is going to talk. Now you change that over with Finn Balor after that assault last uh, on Monday? That makes no sense to me. First of all, Balor's barely over. He was barely even over when he won the world title, even when he got his ass injured. And even being the first Universal Champion, he's the most irrelevant guy on TV. Very little charisma. No one can remember top five promos of Finn Balor. I can remember Cody Rhodes' promos in his last couple months when he was Stardust, and I can't remember what Finn Balor just said on NXT, coming, going to the main roster, bombing on the main roster, going back to NXT, and he might even do that again. The guy's near his 40s. Still looking like an Aber a veteran Abercrombie and Fitch model that is doing wrestling to hide over his sexual assault allegations. That's what Finn Balor looks like. Looking like a prisoner from... From that uh, Harry Potter film, he just under undermines. I mean, how, why would you degrade Finn Balor over a guy who's wrestled The Undertaker, John Cena, Triple H, Shawn Michaels, over a guy that could barely even handle a shoulder injury in his first time as world champion, and was demoted back to developmental? But it seems like a technical verb as a developmental brand, or else the younger guys wouldn't be there. That makes no sense. And just abundantly changing it in just the couple, first couple months, they could have... Hell, even if you didn't want to make Edge the world champion, at least do something. Elevate the two guys that you already set over, and then you're just pushing over Balor just for an excuse for him to be over on television. Now, I understand majority of what other people are saying. Bal uh, of course, Edge is a part-timer. He's not going to be given the... Logistical time uh, to work over a yearly storyline with a group. If he was a bit younger, that would have been a bit more possible. And injuries probably stood foot uh, during the pay-per-view match, or something else. But there's a lot of but there's a lot of legitimate reasons why Edge wouldn't be doing this for the long term. But at least write him off of a more legitimate guy that would have been better at the role. Why Balor? Why, why not Alexa Bliss that's literally in a, still sort of in a Lolita goth crazy bitch gimmick that can actually talk, that can actually act, and legitimately garner screen time? She's literally a, a big merch seller out of the four horse face women. Why not you sell that out? That makes no sense to me. Oh, but he's the prince. He, he used to wear Punisher makeup and finger fuck, uh, sex dolls back in Japanese indie fans. Uh, he wrestled in Wrestle Kingdom for a cruiserweight belt. Please stop. Please stop. Balor sucks. Any person who says so, it's either because they sort of remember what he did in Japan or NXT. If anybody tells me, and majority of the fans will tell me, that they don't remember crap what Finn Balor does over to the main roster, except he took crazy bump in, 
He had forgettable feuds with Kevin Owens, uh, Roman Reigns, Bray Wyatt twice and lost to him twice on pay-per-view. Wears a pumpkin face face paint with no logistical persona. There's no persona in the demon. There's no persona. There's no pe there's no personality difference. There's no wrestling style difference. All he does is drop kicks and talks in a weird voice trying to push up his own stomach so he can do abs. The guy sucks. Whoever thinks that this dude can tell a six foot some a six foot seven uh Latin dude what to do and a six foot woman that has bigger shoulders and tripes than him, don't you dare try to push that ahead. There's no mastermind characteristic to Finn Balor or else he would have had a group before this whole Judgment Day turn over Edge. It makes no sense to me. But that's just my opinion overall. You wouldn't make this brief because I'm only talking about one subject and one storyline here on the main roster. And technically this is the only thing to garner any attention because one person. It's not because I think that the Judgment Day is good. But I thought this would have a legitimate potential to at least garner a major focus to why I have to watch Monday Night Raw. They haven't, but at least they're a group. With a goal, I think. And now, this group is going to be treated like the flock because of Finn Balor. A group with talent, I mean one person that's a talent, and then the rest is just cannon fodder to just pretend that the group is good. It's like the Nexus, and I talked about the Nexus on another video. That's it for me. Thanks for watching the DST show. And subscribe for